New details about the man accused of groping sleeping students at Pacific Lutheran University on Mother's Day. Dylan Robinson was arrested in Tacoma less than 12 hours after the assault happened. Thanks for joining us for the News at 10. I'm David Rose. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. Fox 13's Neil Wong is digging into this case. She joins us live from the newsroom tonight with what she's learning about this suspect. Nia? It's still early in the investigation. Right now, police haven't said why Robinson was specifically lurking around Pacific Lutheran University, but we've learned he's no stranger to college campuses. The man you see here is Dylan Thomas Robinson. He's accused of sexually assaulting two women at two different dormitories at PLU early Sunday morning, as well as hitting another woman in the face with a shoe. But we've since learned that he worked for years as a custodian at Bremerton's Olympic College. The school confirmed to Fox 13 News he was employed part-time on campus between 2015 and 2017. The school wouldn't tell us why his employment ended, but they are looking into our request. Robinson was arrested Sunday night, in part thanks to tips that were sent into law enforcement, like this Snapchat post. The person who took it says Robinson still had his location services on. They sent it in to police, who then arrested him at this building off of 6th and Jackson, right where you see his Snapchat avatar. As of today, Robinson is still in Pierce County Jail, held on a $2,000 bond for assault four, but without bail on the burglary arrest. Robinson hasn't been arraigned, so no charges have been filed against him yet. We reached out to the Pierce County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. They said they've postponed the charging decision because law enforcement is still investigating, and they're waiting for that to wrap up. So changes could be made as this moves forward. Meanwhile, PLU says these assaults have prompted them to increase staffing with their campus security team through the end of the semester.